Can Prasenjit Bose and Swapan Das Gupta carry on this discussion? Prasenjit, I appreciate your waiting uh, and listening to Derek. Okay, go ahead. I know you were shaking your head vigorously uh, when uh, Derek was speaking. Is everything okay? Because, uh, you know, he, he was saying Didi is in control. At least that much part is true. Didi is in control. But what has happened to the control? And how does the left read what has happened in the last 11 months? And, and are you guys internally celebrating that, look, we don't have to do much? A lot of it no, is automatically see, being done. No, I, I, I mean, there is no question of any celebration. But I, I would just like to mention, you see, the Time magazine thing that he is saying, I am sure that Hitler or Mussolini would have been extremely influential people in the world. Okay. But, you know, the, the, why are you influential? Or what is your influence leading to? Mm. And you see the attitude with which the Trinomo spokesperson just behave. Yes. That he is, and this is precisely what is getting reflected in West Bengal today, that he is explicitly stating that I am not going to answer any questions from the CPIN. Now he likes it or not, yes, we have lost, after 34 years we have lost, but we are still the democratically elected opposition in West Bengal. Okay. He being the ruling party is explicitly saying that yeah. he is refusing to reply any questions from the CPIM. And this is precisely the mindset which is getting reflected in one incident after the other. Okay. What he is talking about amplification and all sorts of, you know, when you don't have a convincing answer, you talk about conspiracy theory. Okay. As you, as you correctly pointed out, what is the conspiracy? You have a situation where there were two consecutive rapes. Here was a chief minister and ministers of that same state government coming in explicitly blaming mm. the victims of the rape incident yes. and then transferring the police officer who courageously went and nabbed the culprits of that yes. rape incident. Yes. Number one. Number two, you have a situation where a government order is issued okay. to public libraries stating which newspapers they should keep and which not to keep. Okay. Then you have an incident where a professor, university professor is arrested, booked under very serious charges yes. for emailing a very innocuous spoof or cartoon, whatever you call it. There is another situation where another university professor along with other political activists have been arrested under very serious charges for protesting eviction of slum dwellers. Okay. So all these incidents are taking place, none of which in which the left is directly involved. I'm involved. I agree with you. No, so I, 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 would, I, would, I would ask, ask the question. Hang on. Just one question. I want to ask this question to Shopan. No, yes, let, let, me, let me make this simple point. Yes. I think, because I have also have a critique of the national media, yes. right, the mainstream media, like, like you allowed uh, Mr. O'Brien to talk about media conspiracies. I think that over the past three or four years, you check out the facts. The number of political activists that have been murdered in mm. West Bengal, mm is unprecedented in the recent history of India and not even in insurgency hit states. Yes. Are you having this level of political violence? I think the media has been silent and by silent they have encouraged this trend of political violence today. Okay. It is not, in the, not only the left but the common people, the media, all the democratic institutions are under threat, are under attack from this undemocratic government. It is a politically I, bankrupt that, government. That's a valid point. Which has no political agenda to offer. They are only offering vacuity. Yes. They have absolutely no agenda. That is why they are going on with the CPM bashing, which yes. is a fascistic mindset, and they are attacking the people.